Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series. And in this video, we will try to, you know, cover a topic like how to compare two items or two brands uh, with each other. Now, the challenge here is that um, so basically uh, what we wanted to do is we want to select two different branch and two slices and want to compare it. So let's jump on the power view. So object, let's try it first of all that. So what I want is I bring in brand here in one of the slices. Okay. And I bring brand in another slicer here. Okay. And now I want to create a table here and which definitely cannot be on the brand. So uh, let's create this table on state let's say or geography state definitely when we compare two brands we can't merge them so states and let's say take net now if you filter this brand now see this is also filtering this one even if i disable it how do i take this particular brand the other brand how can i take this brand because this is also selected value of brand this is also going to be selected value of brand even if I disable it. So that it means we need to do something else. And the something else is we need an independent table. So what I'm going to do is I have this item table, which is there and I'm going to duplicate this item table by creating one more table and I'm going to keep it independent. So I go here in my data view, I create a new table, which is under table tool. Any table you click, you will get this table and you create this new table. Now, and I'm going to call it item new and as of now I simply see item the other thing I could have done is I could have only bought the brand and doing this is a little bit of challenging because those brands are not going to be duplicate and all that. this exact same table now what I can do here is I got an item new table so I can go here and delete this one and I bring in brand from here now I bring in brand from here and I put it into the slicer. Now, if I select brand one here, no impact there, very good. But if I select brand one here, there's no impact on this one. And definitely we don't want an impact on this one. Now, what we need to do is we already have this brand coming it out and fine. So, and I'm going to have this table duplicated once. And we will see why we need this duplication. Okay. So now I, I, I got the second brand table, but it's not going to work. It's not joined. So it's not going to filter. And it, there is no need of joining at all. So because if you join, then it's not going to work. And this already one brand, which is already selected. So understand that brand, which is already been selected is there. And we have to ignore that. So the way, the way, the, um, the new major, which we are going to create here is, is let's say net brand to whichever second brand is selected so calculate net filter all now already there is a filter okay on the item which i need to now remove and then item dot brand in all selected item new dot brand because this is brand okay that's how it is and the why why i'm bringing in two I'll, I'll let you know now i bring in here and this gives me same answer now let's filter brand 4 here you got some answers let's filter brand 4 here also so you got the same answers now remember if you it you buy its brand and item then it's going to be a different story which is basically because that's the same dimension we are ignoring the uh, this thing so because if you go here it is, it's not going to make much sense out of for you let's me bring in category out here if i bring in category which is 2 and 3 and this category is still going to be filtered by that brand so it's not going to make much difference out here if we try to use that and we bring in net 
and bring in net by brand two. So this is fine. But if I go here and make it brand five, you start seeing this is repeating because this is basically all the item dimension. So it's going to repeat and what we can do here again here is something different. Let's say instead of item, if we start seeing, let's say item brand. Okay. It's not going to make much difference around it. That's what I wanted to point you out. Okay. Let's make it brand. This one. So this is something which is not there for the same dimension across other dimension. And this is, this is where the comparison need to happen because you're not going to compare with other, other workaround could be, you know, we have both the tables as independent tables. So we have two independent tables. Then in that case, none of these tables is going to interact with my brand and I can push it now. And remember one thing, the brand filters are still getting pushed to the same brand where we are selecting, but if they become independent, we can, without giving this item, we can push it. So let's understand. First of all, let's see this, is this five correct or not? Okay. It's everything is correct. Now what I'm saying is the comparison is fine till the time I'm there outside the brand or outside the item table. What happens if I go inside the table, that's where I'm not. And specifically, let's say, let's bring in brand from the item dimension itself. Let's, let's bring in brand here. And let's bring in these, let's duplicate this. I remove the state, I bring in brand here. Now what you're seeing that this net brand two is not something which is behaving the way manner we wanted. And let's select brand four. The, the brand five data is correct, but I can't see brand five here. Okay. So let's create one more table. We go here. And this is when, this is when you need to do the same dimension and we copy this script. We create one more table. You can end up creating only brand tables. It's not that item only you need to. Okay, so everything is perfectly fine. So now I'm not going to use this slicer. I only going to keep it for our reference. I have one more table where I have this item two, where I have this brand. Let's close this right now. Okay, I bring in the brand. I make it a slicer. And right now you will see it will not interact with anything. Okay. Let's create a little bit more space out here. We need one more column. And you are seeing the grand total here. So, okay. No, no, nothing is getting impacted. Okay. Now this is also there. And now here, what we are going to do is still we'll keep it here with the help of brand only. Okay. This is not impacting the brand is not impacting. So now let's go ahead and copy our major, which is I think there in the brand new. Okay. Let's net brand. So this time what we are going to do is we're going to create this net brand. I'm, I'm going to make a little difference in the next major. And then we are going to come, come back and correct this net brand three. I'm going to call it. And here I'm not going to take this all. So we are planning not to filter this. Then we don't take all, then we only need to take item. So, and I'm going to tell you the difference also. Let's bring in brand. So first this, this is brand 11. This is brand five. Okay. And this is seeing same because we, we have to do change here. We need to say item new to that brand. Okay. So we brand three should take there. So now you see the difference brand three is coming and we need to look at the 11 number brand brand 11. What is the number of date? Brand 11 is 120 to 17. So grand total of the three you need to see match it here. Now that's fine. Now I bring in here also now look at this. Now let me make it a little bit bigger for you. We have lots of space. Let's create more space for you. Ideally I, we could have renamed also here. But we need to know all these things. So the advantage you got here is 
you don't need to use all when they both are independent so we know the advantage of having that not having it all so this is brand 5 and this is also brand 5 right now see this is repeating and this is not repeating now we go here in this one also and we say simply item instead of all item now, but remember this 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 would not have worked there if we have that item so now both of them and now if i say brand 4 and brand 5 see this is brand 4 and I, I what i can do here in this visual i can actually now remove the net so they are coming in different rows and that's absolutely fine because we needed them in a different row and here from here what i can do is let me instead of state let me make it brand the item brand this one and let me remove it so that you can validate the values okay let me sort out all in this one also so look at 4 and 5 we, uh, we have selected 4 and we have selected 5 so this is 4 the brand 2 and this is 5 okay and the values are correct here we can look at these values and these values are correct here now if you don't take this one and let's say in the third visual instead of brand you take category and i'm taking it from item table okay not from item one and two see now now the data merging is also happening because same brand cannot work that's what the object is so you see now how independent tables uh, plays a really important role in such cases so we are ignoring and bringing in that data for comparison now you need one or you need two it depends on entirely what kind of need you have and so go ahead and try these things out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you